back to my channel Lash with Lux. Today we're going to be doing a hybrid set tutorial. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're going to get right into this video. So I wash my client's lashes off camera, but as of right now, I'm going in with primer. That's going to give our client better retention. And of course, I'm going to dry this with my fan while also brushing the lashes before we start the set. So now I'm going to tape down my client's bottom lashes. I always tell my clients to look directly up at me. I know it can be a little awkward, but this is the best way to get those bottom lashes out of the way. And of course, you can go in with tape if you did not get all of the bottom lashes out the way. This normally happens to me in the inner corners and outer corners, so I'm just going to use a piece of tape to tape the rest down. As you can see, my client also has really light brown to blonde lashes, so this white foam pad is going to be really good with being able to see all of her lashes. So before I start any set, I want to make sure all the bottom lashes are taped down. This is especially important if your client has light color lashes like mine. Now I'm going to use this tape up method that works for me oh so well. I'm going to use a piece of tape on the outer corners and the inner corners and just lift her lash line a little bit. This is going to give her lashes a lift and it's going to make them easier to do. Now I'm going to lash mat my client's lashes. I want this to be very precise because we're doing a cat eye set. I normally would start off in the inner corners very short, but this client wanted them to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to start with 12 and flare this out to a 15. So a hybrid set is going to be a mixture of fans and classic eyelash extensions. My client wanted her hybrid set a bit more full and as you can see her lashes are not super thick. So I am going to be placing more fans on her lashes and towards the end I'll start to go in with my classic extensions. Also, if you're ever working with a client who has thinner lashes and wants a hybrid set, keep in mind that sometimes you will have to place more volume fans on their lashes than classic extensions. This will give them a more fuller look. So I'm going to continuously place these volume fans throughout her lash set until it is semi full. Make sure you stay tuned for how I incorporate the classic extensions to get the perfect hybrid look and also stay tuned for more tips throughout the video. So after I place about 8 to 10 extensions, I go through with my brush to make sure nothing is stuck together. 
and if so, you can easily separate it with your tweezers.
So I want to show you all a method that I use to lash the inner corners. I take a piece of tape and I place it towards the middle of the lashes and I just pull it over so that way the inner corners are exposed as so. You do want to use a stronger piece of tape for this method just so it can hold. As you can see, the inner corners are now exposed and they are also very isolated. This is really good if you ever have any issues with the inner corners. Depending on the eye shape, sometimes you will have to use this method. And also if their lashes are just very thin in the inner corners. So midway throughout my set, I like to take my tweezers and go through the lashes to make sure nothing is stuck together and also to remove any lashes that may not have been placed neatly. Okay everyone, it's time for another tip. This is my favorite method with lashing. It allows me to get done with my client's lashes quicker and it's also very convenient. So I'm gonna take a long piece of tape that is not super strong and I'm gonna tape back all of the extensions that were placed in the set. If the bottom lashes are not already out, I'm just gonna use my tweezer to expose them. If you need to, you can brush through those bottom lashes just to expose them even more. I love this method so much, it allows me to just place and go. So after I use that tape method, I am just going to brush through the lashes and I'm going to fill in any empty spaces with fans and then I'm going to be using individual lash extensions throughout the remainder of this set.
Okay everyone, I'm going to speed this video up and I am going to finish the other eye off camera. I'm going to be using individual lash extensions throughout the remainder of this set because you don't want this to get super full. Make sure you stay tuned for the tape off process and for the final look. Okay, I am officially done with this set. I am just going to use Bonder to seal this glue in, which is going to give our client more retention. And I'm going to use my fan to dry this before I take the tape off. I do want to thank you all for watching this video with me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and videos just like this. And I will see you all in my next video.